Facer is a program by Holotech Studios that's still in beta, however, the beta is impressive enough to warrant a real review of the software as a whole. Keep in mind, FaceRig is still in development, and some stuff may change from what I'm talking about this in January 2015 by the time you see this, and it's just a very quick overview of the software currently. So what the heck is this thing? Well, FaceRig uses a webcam to translate your face into a 3D avatar. It's like motion capture software, but without those dots glued to your face. The software also tracks the motion of your head whether you tilt forward or back a little bit. It also even tracks the motions of your eyeballs. FaceRig comes with several avatars, or models, I guess, if you're not so hip. You want to be a furry? That's easy. You want to be a doge? Simple. You just want to be a person? Sure. You want to be an anthropomorphic burger? So, is it hot in here or is it just me? Okay, it's hot in here. ba dum bum ba ba most avatars have several pre-made skins if you just want to just load up and have fun. There's also a lot of default backgrounds and lighting setups, and some of which have 360 degree panoramas that you can swing the camera around. Matter of fact, let me show you this. As you swing the camera around, you'll notice that the shadows, or I guess more correctly the light, stays in place and the shadows are completely dependent on where you're putting the camera, where you're pointing the camera. This is awesome! I mean, this is, this is cool! There are also a lot of props you can attach to your avatars. Some have character-specific ones like Danny's bandana and scarf, and some are universal like the Viking helmet or the deal with it sunglasses. And if that's not enough, almost everything is customizable. And of interest to live streamers, it's really easy to make a green screen backdrop, like the one behind me here. And with a little production magic, you're inside the game, or wherever it is you need to be. You doing okay up there? Yeah, I'm not going anywhere for a while. Do you uh, need a Snickers? Great googly moogly. You can also tweak everything about avatar performance, too. If the expressions are a little over the top, you can use sliders to tone them down or just turn them off. There's also a voice modulator, too, if you want to make your voice 20% eh, cuter. Along the top bars, you see all the nuts and bolts of broadcasting and recording, and it's all pretty self-explanatory. I know I've been kind of glowing about face ray up to this point, but let's talk about some of the limitations. One of them is lighting. You need to have really good lighting in order to make the camera see you perfectly. For most people, this isn't going to be an issue, but for me, I don't usually run with this many lights on me. Also, a word on customization. You need to save the background images in a specific folder as a JPEG, TGA, or, okay, there's one other file type, but JPEG is what I go with. Hierarchy here if you're using Steam. You'll also probably have to tweak the background to fit sometimes. It's annoying, but it's not exactly deal-breaking. Amusingly, the avatars have nothing under their waist. If you lift them up with the sliders, you can see where they end, so don't be expecting any dance parties anytime soon. Also, some do have hands, but so far the hands are not tracked, so if you talk with your hands a lot, or you like playing guitar band... Sadly, your avatar is not going to rock along with you. Yet. You should also have a pretty beefy system to run face rake. They do make it friendly to the lower-end graphics cards like mine, but the better your hardware, the better that it works. Check your minimum specs, definitely. Let me cut to the chase. Is face rake something that you should look into buying? Well, yes and no. If you're a casual user and you just want to make the character say funny things, yeah, you're going to get bored with it really quickly. But if you're a maker or a creator, and you've been looking at this going, wow, I could use this program to do whatever, then yeah, this is a program that's kind of tailor-made for you. Face Rig is really kind of like a deck of playing cards. On its own, it's really boring. It just kind of sits there. You need to actually bring something to it to make something cool happen. Except Face Rig is a lot cooler because your big sister is not going to make you play 52 pickup with Face Rig. Already a bonus. <clears throat> so with that in mind, Face Rig is essentially high-tech puppetry. You bring the avatar to life. For performers and content creators, it's a good piece of kit to have. For example, I've used face rig on my live stream several times, and it's certainly a head turner when people see Fluffo at the wheel. Face rig is also open creation platform, so the modding community is already hard at work making avatars and skins. I pulled down this fox from the face rig site, and there's actually a few others right now. I swear, you ask me what I say, and I'm gonna kick your. Since face rig is still in beta, they're still tweaking it, so the nuts and bolts are gonna change over time. And they keep on adding avatars for free or for minimal DLC cost, so this is not going away anytime soon. As far as the price of the base program, well, consider that professional level motion capture software starts at $800 for a license. Face Rig is a steal for the cost of less than a delivered pizza. What I'm getting at is that Face Rig puts some pretty powerful tools into the hands of anybody that wants to use it. Granted, it's not going to be for everybody, but if you're a video creator or you're a performer, you might consider putting this in your toolbox.
I'm just a cheeseburger in paradise. Heaven on earth with an o- These burgers on fire! I- I got- I got nothing else. On top of spaghetti!